guys have no idea what a great weekend we have ahead of us. Cheers. This place is perfect. We came here for a show, man. No night to marry. So before this weekend's over, it better be fireworks. You understand me? No date to mirror. You like it? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you on this interview because I mean that's what we do on Black Tree. Always. And this character. You kind of play more white. I mean... Well, you know what? It's funny. That's a slippery slope to go down in terms of dividing people racially. And I, and I, gotta, I gotta watch myself. But yeah, uh, he, he doesn't... Um, he's not as urban a character as you're sometimes often used to seeing me play. But would you say Frank Jr. in Ozark was more white? Nah, he was... He was more like... He still had a little bit more... He was, he was whiter than Tommy. But he was still, well, like, well, more connected, it well, felt well, like. All, all white people are whiter than Tommy, almost. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah. But, but, um, but Tommy grew up in the hood. Tommy grew up with black people from the time, he, from inception. Uh, so that's a different type of character to play all together. So I think you'd have to define what's more white about the character to me. I but. mean, you, you North, North Chicago. Yeah, that's You're true. not, like, Inglewood, South, suburbs. Nope. So, like, just growing up, like, you feel like you like Chicago Cubs side of life. Yeah. Um, yo, man. But you play, like, so many different, you, you embody so many different characters. It's amazing that you as an actor, and I asked you as a person with Black Fox and everything you do with your, is it Black Fox that yeah, you do with Black, your brother? Black Fox. Hey, yeah. Dion, Dion, can you come here real quick? It's, it's amazing. So, so I would like to, uh, this is a very difficult question for me to answer. So he was telling me that Rom is more white than I'm used to playing. So I asked him to describe what's more white about the character because it's a slippery slope to go down, describing somebody as more white or more black because that's the color of skin rather than, than, than somebody, uh, sometimes they say maybe there's a white affectation on some, how somebody talks. Um, I, I, I hate when I hear people say you sound more white because you sound more intelligent or you use bigger words. Mm. So, um, I don't think, I think that was it. I think this just, cult, I, I guess like culturally, your character as Ram was less, less, urban. less hood, less hood, less, less urban. Less hood. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, less, he was less hood. hood. He, he was less hood. hood. He was more like. like you know, still so with a black woman though. Still with a black. Still woman. with black friends. <laughs> and, and people, and, and people will always still love Joseph Sakura. That's so, true. I mean, like I, 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 it, it, it's not, it's not, it wasn't like. A slight, but like in but, that, but, but in that I, space. But I do understand what you're saying. But this is so funny, man, because most recently I was just on the phone with someone talking about the film, and they said, "Wow, we just watched Joseph play against Tight." And I was like, "What do you mean? Same thing." And I said, "What do you mean?" And they was like, "No, no, I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying it was cool to see." I think it's, I think the fans make it. It makes us appreciate everything about him more. Like, oh yeah, he can play. That, but he can play this and he can play all of it. All level of actor you're dealing with. Yeah. See, people forget Joseph Sikor is an actor first, yeah. right? And then he's Tommy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He Tommy is a character, which I think is. Really he knows good. I know all about because I called out I called out a song for the '98. That's true. <laughs> so I would say it out, out of love, but it was just like no, no, no yeah. And it, I, it, took, it, I took it out of love, but I had to call in the big guns for backup. Yeah, yeah. And I had to make make sure that I got clarification. Yeah, yeah, but. It's just like, how do you dip into all of these different elements of life and culture and character and pull it off authentically like that's you? Like when people see you as Tommy, that's you. They feel like they see you on the street, Justice Cora, you're Tommy. But they see you as this character is wrong, they feel like that's you. I can answer that because you and I are not dissimilar that we're detail-oriented guys. Yeah. You pull out facts from everywhere and you always, that's why I'm like, I love your interviews because you get very specific about things. And I think I get very specific, which makes things real and genuine. Because when we are passionate about something, we get down to the minutia. Yeah, and so, yeah. so that, that's how I think. I think I get, I get specific. I think I, I pay attention. What, what are you or your brother going to do with Black Fox? What's, go, what's going on with that production system? We, um... You can find it here with Draymond. <laughs> Draymond. Yeah. 
Um, with Black Box, we have, a, we have got five uh, projects in development. We're working with Michael Strahan's company, SPAC, um, about um, a really exciting project that uh, I can't wait uh, to get even further down the line. That is all Chicago involved, but we're taking it back to the 80s. Um, we have got, uh, um, we're working on a, a project from uh, a Richard Wright, uh, uh, obviously the incredible uh, Mississippi-born native, native son, yeah. Chicago-raised uh, uh, novelist, that we're developing um, a television series with that, um, with the great Kendra Chapman, and uh, we partnered with G-Unit, so I can't wait to get ro rocking and rolling with that. And then we start season three of uh, Power Book 4 Force, so I can give the fans what they want and bring Thomas Patrick Egan back to the small screen. All right. Last question. How much fear did you have as a kid getting on, getting on a screen in a commercial with Michael Jordan? I, I, a kid from Chicago being his uh, I was in awe. I, it was like seeing Superman in real life. It was, um, it was the most blown away I had ever been in my life up to that point, and one of the most blown away I've ever been in my life since. He seemed 500 feet tall. He was, you know, this is early on. I mean, this is 89. So it's like stuff is just about to, like, be the biggest thing in Chicago history, like right before 91. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, I was blown away. So that, and I, I was, I, my heart definitely beat fast. It was, it was better. It was like, I guess I'm sure, I just saw a, a Elvis movie. Austin Butler was magnificent. But I was, it, I felt like, like that. I was like, keep it together. Keep it together. So all, all, all praise to the GOAT. Thank you, Joseph, for all this honor, brother. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm like, I'm not getting, I, 